Kathy. Well, the last time you were here, we also talked about, you know, your America's Next Top Model and Tyra. And, you know, now you said some things like, you know, she bought McDonald's Whoppers and Burger King for Christmas gifts. And have you heard from Tyra since this? Since no, these she headlines? ignores me, which is a big mistake on your part, Tyra. Do not ignore me any longer. But I don't think she's doing anything active right now as far as no, shows. No, she hosts Dancing with the Oh, but they say she's stars. being fired from that. Well, they just hired Alfonso Ribeiro to like co-host with her. Well, some they're slowly edging her out then. I, it can't be a good sign, right? No. How, how does she get stuck in these big productions? I, I'm confused. She's not that interesting. Dancing with the Stars is major. You're going to call you now? No. <laughs> you just nailed that coffin ship. <laughs> Do you think that Alfonso Ribeiro will be a better host than her? Yes, in his sleep, much. <laughs> Would you do Dancing with the Stars? I mean, you know, if they called you? No, I can't dance. Don't expect me to get on that stage and dance, she, honey. She, I'm gonna sway. She, she do be... dancing, dancing with the scars <laughs> behind her ear. Uh, I, I'm due for another facelift, <laughs> trust me. I don't mind going under the knife. Well, I mean, we've all had a little something done, right? Oh, God, yeah. Do you ever read, I mean, do you care about that when people are like, oh, look at her surgery, look what she got, everyone's nitpicking it, does she need no, this, I does she need that? I welcome all this, this, this lovely gossip. Why not? It's something good to talk about. Give, give, me a, give me a subject and I'll talk about it. Not to, we're like you, David, we can talk about things. What's your sign? Aquarius. I'm a Gemini. Like we would rather be hated and talked about than yeah. invisible. Yes. But right? we're always on the scene. David has his pole, a finger on the pulse. I have my finger on the pulse. Um, what was I going to ask you? As far as America's Next Time Model, because since you've been here, tons of people have come on this show from either Dancing with the Stars, like Brooke Burke, who was the host. You're not the love. only one. Love Brooke Burke, right? Love, love. She's, she's a real girl. And she's gorgeous. She's mm -hmm. the real deal. You know who's also gorgeous is her ex-husband, David Charvet. Has anyone seen his? I seen love David, David Charvet. He's fabulous. Well, let me tell you something. When this is over, you go to his Instagram. You know how some people hold up well and others don't? I don't even understand how this man is. like. Because he's gorgeous. He's, he's got that French in him. That's where the Charvet comes from. Charvet. Drop he's dead gorgeous. So gorgeous. Did he come on your show? No, but he's going to. And he's like, oh, it's, I, I, I'm Did just like, on your, on your chest. Zach Efron and David. <laughs> Zach Efron and David Charvet are two specimens of of just something to look at. I will I will look at them any day of the week. You and I have the same taste because Zach Efron. Oh, how is that? A hug, a hug. He's good friends with your son, with Nate. Yeah, they're good friends. They're good friends. Oh, really? Oh, by the way, my son's having a baby. I'm not seeing people, Oops. but I just did. Oops. Janice Sorry, is going to be a grandma. I'm going to be a grandmama. This is your first. Yes. Wow. Yep. Yes. Yep. The stores oh, are boy. welcoming her with oh, open arms. Oh, that store. She's dropping Maine, that card like crazy. Maine, I just literally bought the baby store out. I went in there, zero to three, zero to three, zero to three, <laughs> three to six, three to six, zero to three months, three, six to six months. And my husband was going, no, no, do not start buying things. And I was like, screw you, honey. I have a <laughs> legacy now. Must be well dressed. Uh -huh. Must be well dressed. Oh, yeah. What type of grandma are you going to be? Just spoil this kid? To be like Auntie Mame. She'll show him things he never dreamed existed. Or her. We don't know what it is yet. No, it's a boy. <gasps> oh, no. You just blew another secret. I know. Jesus. I can't keep a secret. What a mouth on this I, one. Gonna, he's going to kill you. He's going to kill me. Carly's well, going to kill you. They're going to kill me. Don't, do you, don't show this in your show. <laughs> X me out of this. No, it's a scoop. You got to show it. Do you, and now I mean, do you, I mean, you're going to love this grandchild no matter what, of course, but is the little part of you hoping that this grandchild, this boy is, you know, like Joey and I? Yes. I want a great grandson. Please let it be. She bought everything in pink. <laughs> Did you? I bought tutus and toe shoes. <laughs> the works. Yeah, Stop. you're gonna be like, you're not straight. You're not you're straight. Be Andy Mame. I'm telling you, she's gonna be. I'm Andy gonna have Mame. that turban with feathers, uh -huh. and so will yeah. he. Yeah, and he will follow me around the she's world. Grab T Mame. 
Graham T. <laughs> Graham T. Main. I love this. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Rocky, I just blew it. I told everybody that, that Nathan's having a baby boy. Listen, this will come out in like a week or two. So he'll have it's time to adjust to all Don't of this. Don't forget another nine months or something to go. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm in big trouble. I got a big mouth. <laughs> just distract. We'll distract Nathan from the show. But that's why, yeah, just distract him from the show. But that's why we love you because you're honest and you just say what, you know, comes to your mind. Yeah, I have a question though. So about listen, a lot of people like Brooke have been here and they've said all sorts of things about Tyra. So you're not the only one. I mean, is she really as bad as all these people tell me every other week on this show? Yes, she is bad. Believe me, I had to sit next to her for months. She's not a nice person. She's not nice. She wasn't friendly to me at all because I did Vogue, she did L. What's like one of the most egregious things you've seen her do? Eat. Oh. Eating all day long. The jaws never stop. This pales in comparison to Nathan right now. I know. <laughs> Joey's like, oh God, Janice, please, please don't get her. Please don't get her. I have one word when I'm with her. Allegedly. Allegedly, no. She was an eater. I gotta really? say. She had like little snacks all day long to keep her energy going. I, I can't. I can't see Tyra eating all day like that. Just wire your jaws together, please. Well, speaking of that, on the brilliant JDMA on Oxygen, back when Oxygen was Oxygen, you know, you notoriously, you know, were very like anti plus like size model, you know. Oh. Oh yeah, that got the axe. I kind of bent in that department. I, I think I like them now. I, I like plus size models now. Yeah, but plus size, they weigh 112. That's a plus <laughs> size to her. Well, I, you know, for the premise of that show, I was looking for the next Kate Moss. You know, now when I see plus sizes in ads and I see plus size women, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay with them because they're, they, they're who they are. You know, and, and, with, and just in the, in the defense of that, um, Janice comes from a time and an era where models were simply hangers yeah and they were they were chosen because they showed the clothes the designers clothes skin bones and nobody ribs. designed for heavy women nobody designed for heavy men it was a thing it was they didn't give a shit and then what made them supermodels were the fact that they could work any designer any runway they could do any sort whether it's you know, editorial or, you know, any kind of look they could create. And they weren't afraid to be that. And so her mind goes exactly to that. That's part of, it's it's in her DNA as a model. And all of a sudden now everybody's a model. You know, they're a runway model. It's an 